So, yeah. Picking up where we left off. Oops. Whoops. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what caused that problem. But it's okay, it happens. Your brain could be described as message deleted. Yeah, we just ran into some performance issues. So we can't get into the Dead Sea. I guess we could explore everything. We can't get into Gaia's navel either. Chat, what would you do if you lived on like an archipelago like this? What would you do if you lived on an archipelago like this? Just like beach and sea all of the time. Do you think you'd like that? Swim all the time? Talk to me, sir. We've been warned not to go near this place, but we came anyway. We adventurers get all fired up when they tell us not to go somewhere. This is the land where the sky dragon resides, but after the dragon disappeared, a gigantic monster moved in. It took away the star fragment I had worked so hard to get. Well, if I wouldn't have had it, the monster would have taken my life instead. Connect them all with bridges, then island. Same world twice, it would be amazing. That would be a dream. Nice. Me for a place that isn't as close to the ocean. You would love every minute of it. Drown? Please don't drown. Okay, I am going to tweet that I am live again, because, yeah. Okay. We do be tweeting, we do be tweeting, okay. Um, have you seen the houses that are, like, in the water? You'd love to live there? You'd like to live on a house that's on stilts? I feel like that would be dangerous. All right, let's go see what's up here. We have a star fragment. Let's go see what happens. Whoop. Perhaps this could be the site of the ancient Dragonites. Dragonites, chat. What is that? There's a gigantic monster here. But it seems that monster won't attack you if you don't have a star fragment. empty. Give me star fragment. No, it's here! <gasps> Forgot Gundam Evolution came out today for consoles? Hell yeah. You'd want to- you could swim whenever you wanted. Yeah, and so you roll out of bed and, like, die. Ah, uh, shit. So, uh, Mega Starkey! It's a gray alien. Yeah. Radiation? I hate it. So he's innate white. That's good. Uh, okay, so let's... Actually, no. We're gonna switch to Harl first. She's going to finish powering up a little bit. Damn, he does a lot of damage. Okay, moonshine protection. Big boy has big has big pants grab. No pants grab the star key. All right, um. Let's grab a ton him. Don't meteor right, that's rude. Oh, it only did 12 damage, that's not bad. Okay. He's shooting you with a children's light up blaster toy? Yes.
Let's sun shower in. Okay, we're gonna magnify and then we're going to immediately hit him with a bunch of things. Rock from space careening towards you, 12 damage. Exactly. All right, let's glide hook this little fucker. 103, not bad. And gravity blowing. Hello, cult of many. How are you today? Welcome in. It's nice to see you. I don't want to gravity blow. I want to get up a little bit higher. Bad news, I've been followed like cult of many. Wait, is that bad news? Thank you for the follow. Also, hold on, I want to look at this emote real fast. <laughs> I love it. You're good, you meant to fall the other night, but completely forgot. That's okay. Um, I should heal. Do I have anybody that can heal? Lenora well, certainly fucking can. Uh oh. We're playing some, um. Chrono Cross. I, I know how to say words. Leave me alone. I know words. But yeah, Cult Mini is uh, who we raided last night. It was playing some uh, Dark Souls 3 and fighting the Nameless King. And did, in fact, beat Ye Olde Nameless King. You know what? I'll do this plus four. Yeah, nah, you kicked its ass. 2.20 a.m. now, you should sleep. Imagine sleeping. Imagine sleeping. Couldn't be me. Thanks to help, which you also provided. Eh, I just yelled at you to dodge in. I wouldn't really call that help. Wouldn't really call that help. Well, I'm glad it helped, and I'm glad you were able to kill the thing. Because that's a stupid one. It's a cult with a K, it's like Mortal Kombat, so it's like a cool cult. I see. Well, you know what? I want to keep Harl alive, because she has to revive. But yes. Good night. Thank you guys for being here. Yelling dodge at someone? Is my name Piccolo? No, my name is Haneru. Don't show the beans picture. Why you gotta embarrass me in front of other streamers, chat? Why you always gotta embarrass me? Stop photon beaming. Need sleep. Getting weird dreams this week. Oh, I'm sorry. I slept terribly last night. I kept waking up. Sucked. That Lynx is fine. He just fell over. Right, we never elemented not, uh, Norris. How stupid of me. I don't think we can hell soul him. This old chill, I don't know. They're weird dreams, not nightmares. Okay, that's fair. Wait, can we loot a Redic with this? Okay, Moonbeams. They're weird, you enjoy them? Okay, that's fine. I feel like we might not win this fight, chat. I feel like we might not win this fight. Oh, he's weak. He's at half health. Finally getting there. Ooh, that was bad. Having a emote you wanted to use? That's okay. You're allowed to use your emotes. You're allowed to use whatever emote you want. That's horrifying. I like it.
Alright, let's give this guy some feral cats. Thankfully, we had saved, like, just before coming to this island. So, worst case is we die. Observe. <laughs> it's weird because you have no control and things get truly weird. Aww. Uh -huh. I always have really weird dreams. I'm not a big fan of my dreams, personally. Alright, Una, thank you for hanging out. Sleep well in sweet dreams, okay? Don't you do it! Shit. Oh, Lynx is still alive. Wow. I'm amazed. Moonbeam is a good spell in 3.5? Who still plays 3.5? I won! <gasps> I actually won! Hell yeah. Okay. Now that we're not in the middle of combat. Bam! Go follow. So the real body of the monster was this small... Nah, 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 nah. Star Fragment Mine. Catch him with A. Hey, get... Come here, come here. Gotcha. Creature, mysterious creature. I shocked! I got caught. You win. Who were you? I come from faraway stars, but Starkey's ship fall from sky. Star Fragment and Starkey's ship fragment. The ship turned to fragments after crash. So that's why you were collecting fragments. If we're lucky, your ship might still be intact in the other world. Really? Whoopee! Starkey come with you. Starkey come with you. Starkey joined your party. Oh, look at him. He's so tiny and cute. Okay, um, let's check on everybody. So let's see, we haven't done this in a minute. Uh, for example, this week you dreamed you saw a New York City billboard story advertisement for the Wolf Girl VTuber Lumi. Interesting. And on the advertisement, she was heavily pro Sir. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> you gaggle of chuckle fucks. Oh my god, you have chat with you. <laughs> he's Olimar, his ship fell apart, and he's trying to be about the other. Yes. Compact, efficient, able to impregnate at 50 yards. <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect quote! <laughs> oh, my oh my god. That was perfect. <laughs> What an what an appropriate quote for having a dream about Lumi Tuber being visibly heavily pregnant. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> That's fucking great. Okay, so the Black Wind leader is only 26. All right, Mithra, I'll have a good night. <laughs> Enjoy your weird dreams, hon. He's 26. He's from poor. He's 5'10", 137 pounds, ordinary, and right-handed. <sighs> okay. Who else we got? Who else we got? We got Zappa, who is an obstinate blacksmith, who is 52 from the Zanin mainland. He's 5'8", weighs 181 pounds, is solid, and right-handed. You've also got Radius, who is the Arnie Village Chief. He's 62 from the mainland. He's from Poor. Yes, P-O-R-R-E. Um, he's 5'8". He's 119 pounds. He's a thin, right-handed old man. Uh, let's see. Starkey is a stray, quote-unquote, gray. He is of unknown age from another planet. He's only 2'11". He weighs 11 pounds. His build is completely alien, and he's ambidextrous. And then, all right, we already read Spriggs. Have we have we gotten anybody else? Ah, uh, Vaughn. So Vaughn is the artist of frugal air. He's 14 from Termina, 4 foot 11, 88 pounds. He's smallish. And he's left-handed. Left-handed people rise up. 
Okay, so we've got Starkey. That's good. If Norris is from poor, does that mean he's from a place called Rich? Does that mean there's a place called Rich? I don't think so. Okay. So we've done that. Let's go heal up at Arnie, because we're wounded. We're gonna go search sleep sleep in Surge's bed. Wait, what emote is that? Oh, that's cute. Let me sleep. Yes, I would like to rest. I love the music in this game, chat. I really do. It's just so comforting. Like, it's just so calm and, and it's just nice. Okay, let's get back on the boat, though. Catman trespasses on private property and sleeps in child's beds, claiming to be said child. Look, don't question me, okay? Well, let's see what happens on the Hermit's Hideaway in, in this world. We have a boat now, so we're allowed to get everything. You kept losing your service, your phone is dying. I'm still on seal, come back. Well, thank you. Yeah, we had some, some issues, but we're back now. We had some, some hiccups, but we're back. Oh, hey, it's Rosalie. Teehee, this place is fun. Interesting, so this is where Rasley's hanging out when she's not in the party. Link's found Energizer suit. What is the Energizer suit? Automatically recovers HP. Okay. Interesting, interesting. The music is pretty chill. It is. I love this game's soundtrack. So when I was a teenager, yeah, I got that trip. When I was a teenager, um, we actually ordered the soundtrack for this game, like had it imported from Japan. And I owned it up until it was in the CD changer of one of my cars that I wrecked. Free HP is good HP. True. Uh, it was in my car and I rear-ended somebody and I could not get it to eject. So I ended up losing it and the Outlaw Star soundtrack, which I was very upset about. Yeah. I really wish that I could get those CDs back. But I mean, like, in the era of Spotify and stuff, it doesn't really matter as much. But it's kind of the principal thing, you know? The principal would think. Also, I'm gonna stretch chat. <sighs> ah, stretchy. Stretchy stretch. Alright, I don't think we can actually do anything on the island of the damned yet. It opened. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, we're still in auto attack mode. <sighs> but yeah, like the soundtrack is so good. The only song that. Thank you for the follow. Sorry, I was reading your name. You from mysticism. Welcome. Thank you. The only song that I don't actually like on the soundtrack is the combat music. And it's not that the combat music is a bad song, so much as it is just you hear it so much that it gets really annoying. Like, the other songs are just kind of like chill vibe songs, whereas this song, the combat song, you hear it so fucking much that, like, after a certain point, you're like, okay, I get it, we're fighting. Calm down. I don't know if we're supposed to be here yet. I 
don't know if we're supposed to be here yet. We might not supposed to be here yet. Ah! I didn't say there was anything bad about having her, her having a fat ass. Fat asses are great. When you can kill enemies here, true. But I mean, like, in terms of story. Stop with the beans! I'm just letting the auto attack do things and I fucking love it. I love the auto attack, it's so good. Because I can just scroll through Twitter. Chat, what do you think of Twitter? I hate Twitter. I hate it and I wish there were better sites that we could go to, but god damn it, there's not right now. Just wait, chat. More beans on the way. God damn it. Why do you do this to me, chat? Why do you do this to me? I'm out here just ha trying to have a good time, you know? You're gonna ram your head into a pillow? Why are you ramming your head into a pillow? Different sites that just aren't quite there yet? Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of options, but just none of them are at the point. And I mean, like, going back to Tumblr doesn't really seem like a thing that's feasible. Why not ram your head into a pillow? Fair. Good time with chat? No way. Um, I was talking about this the other day, uh, on, um, on Reddit, actually, where someone... Okay, I see. I see what it's done. So yes, we, we actually can't do anything here yet. You're getting the bipolar equivalent of zoomies? Aww. I'm sorry. Um, so, so people, people were saying on Reddit, they were like, because... Reddit is going to absolute horse shit right now that people need to just abandon it, which I don't disagree, but like, um, where are we going to go? Right, I'm going to pause this while we talk for a second. <clears throat> so people have spent years building up not just social circles, but business circles. And I don't mean big business like, I don't know, Coca-Cola or or, you know, Apple or something like that. I mean, like, the artist that you commission your, your, your work from, or the streamer that you like to follow, or the person who has Etsy sales, or, you know, whatever, who they've built up their community. So when Tumblr died, say you had 100,000 followers. Hypothetical, I'm not saying that numbers equal worth, I'm just saying, say you had 100,000 followers. So you had 100,000 followers, and Tumblr said, we're banning porn because we suck. <clears throat> God, my throat. So Tumblr bans porn, and you jump ship, and you go to Twitter. Not everybody jumps ship. Some people don't care. Some people don't like Twitter. Some people, uh, whatever, whatever reason, people don't join you. So all of a sudden, you go from being a person who has 100,000 people, who you, you make a picture, and you post up, hey, I'm going to open commissions. <clears throat> God damn my throat. And you had 100,000 people who all saw that, and say 50% of them would like it, and 25% would retweet it, or reblog it, or whatever. Oh my god, my throat. <clears throat> and so, those 25,000 people out of your 100,000 that re-whatevered it, would make sure that all of the people that follow them saw it, and you would get business. So you move to Twitter, and not everybody moves, and you had 100,000 people, and you were starting from scratch. So now you've got 10,000 followers, you have 10% of what you did, and your business is suffering for it. You don't have as many people buying from you. You don't have as much uh, reach to get people to see you. But over the course of several years, since Tumblr banned porn in, what, 2017, was it? Um, you've built up your reach. Now you've got s about 80,000 people following you. It's not the 100,000 you had on Tumblr, but it's not bad. You've built up yourself a nice little community, and you know, you've got half of those people, 40,000, who will like your stuff. And then you've got 20,000 that will retweet your stuff, which isn't quite the reach that you had before, but it's not bad. You're making okay. And all of a sudden, fucking Musk Boy shows up and buys Twitter and fucks it in half. Well, shit, what are you supposed to do? You don't want to give it up because you already saw what happened when you jumped to a new social media platform. Where are you going to go? 
Are you going to go to Facebook? Facebook is just as bad. Are you going to go to Instagram? Instagram is owned by Facebook. Are you going to go to Mastodon? Mastodon is like little clusters of communities. It's not, it's not cohesive. You know, you don't have the reach. Are you going to go to Pillow Fort? Nobody knows that Pillow Fort exists. Everybody forgets Pillow Fort exists. Are you going to go to Hive? Uh, no, because A, it's buggy shit, and B, apparently it has really shitty security. Uh, oops. Are you going to go to... Um, what, what are you going to do? Are you just going to, like, join 700? It's a social media website that founded shortly after Tumblr died. Look it up. Um, are you going to just go... Are you going to join every single person's Discord that you could possibly... Are you going to get in every Discord and follow them religiously? Or are you going to go into 700 Discords and mark all of them as mute until I turn back on and lurk in them and never speak again? So people are reluctant to jump ship off of Twitter, even if it is a shithole, because when you build up your entire community around it, where the fuck are you going to go? And if you leave, say you quit Twitter because Twitter's shitty, okay? You go to any of the other, other sites. Where? What about your followers? Will your community go to the same site that you do? What if there's a big diaspora? You could learn... Well, you do have a limited amount of Discord servers you can join. Exactly. But that's what I mean. It's like, you know, say say you're the artist and you make a Discord. Is everybody going to join it? Probably not. You might get, you know, a couple hundred people join your Discord. But then, like, you know, are they, are they going to be able to commission you every time you need money? You don't know. You don't know. So it's kind of a, a scary thing that Musk bought Twitter and fucked everything for everybody. And people are reluctant to leave because of it. Sorry, I'm just enjoying the music. Ah, what a life. I have absolutely nothing to do. Do you envy me? Oh, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> You're just jealous. I can't wait to see Nikki's concert. That ship you're looking at belongs to Nikki. He tours on that ship. Oh, Nikki. He tours the world on that ship. Oh, Nikki, take me with you. She's a groupie. She brings me a cocktail when I'm thirsty. She gives, gives me a massage when I'm tense. Now, this is what being on a cruise ship is all about. You will leave Twitter on the day it tells you that you cannot access the app anymore. You delete Twitter and make a subreddit. Yeah, but that's the thing is, not everybody uses Reddit. So if you have, you know, your 80,000 people that followed you from Tumblr, well, only half of them are going to join your, your subreddit because some people don't want to use Reddit, so you've only got 40,000. It's You're fucked either way. Pisses you off as much tried to bass out, but they sued him to buy it, so he might not be in this situation. Uh, legally, he, they had to. Like, it's a stupid bullshit legal thing that just fucks over regular people because of shareholder transactional shit. Like, Twitter would have been on the, f on the hook for billions of dollars to their shareholders, which is not a good excuse. But, yeah. It's just, it's all horseshit. He backed out because he was trying to do a pump and dump. He wanted Twitter's stock to go up when he said he was going to buy it, and then he would, you know, fuck around with some stocks, and then he would back out, and the stocks would drop, and he would buy them all back again or something. If they followed you out of Tumblr, why wouldn't they follow you again? Uh, plenty of reasons. Maybe they don't think Reddit is a trustworthy... It, like, it's not even that. It's like, what about people who are passive and don't do it, you know? Plus, it's just, it's... It's all horseshit. It's just all horseshit. Yeah. Musk should never have been... He never should have tried in the first place. But that's the thing, is every time you jump to a new social media website, you're going to lose people. You're going to. Like, imagine for a moment that you grew up in your hometown. And your hometown, um, it turns out there's a horrible gas leak that will kill you all. So everybody's going to move. Everybody's going to pick up and move house. Well, there's a couple of stubborn old codgers who refuse to because, damn it, they've lived here for a hundred years and they're not moving. They want to die here. This is, this is the Grapes of Wrath we're talking about. So some of the people leave. Go back to my yearbook. Some of the people leave, but not all of them. And then you get to the new place, but it turns out that you built your home on a swamp, and it's sinking. 
so you have to move again. And some people are like, no, I like this. My house isn't on a swamp. You're the one who built it on a swamp. I built my house on the edge of the swamp. I'm safe. I'm not moving again. That's too much work. I'm lazy. I like it here. Fuck you guys. And so you move and, you know, there's a little bit less. There's a couple of people less. And every time you move, a couple of people decide they're going to stay. You just got ads. I'm sorry. So every time. So, yeah. First time you move, the old codgers have lived there their whole life and they're not leaving. And the second time you move, well, half the people decide they like it there and the other half don't. So half the people stay because it's just too much effort to move. They're lazy. They don't want to they don't want to pack all their shit up again. They just want to fucking stay. So every time, every time you move, you lose some people and eventually you lose all of them. And the fact that like someone came out and fucked you it up through no fault of your own. It's not my fault that Musk bought Twitter. It's not your fault. It's his fault. It's shareholders' fault. Why should I suffer? Fuck him. Asshole. You're not allowed up here. Only authorized personnel for Nikki's concerts can get on. Not even cats. Wow, racist much, lady? Have you guys ever been... Have you guys been to an island called Marble? It used to be a beautiful place with mermaid, where mermaids live, but now it's infested by nasty-looking monsters. That's where all the demi-human workers on the ship are from. Hey, come on, don't look at me like that. The demi-humans say they're happy to just ha just to have jobs and receive food for wages. That's called slavery! Okay, before we go any further, I want to make sure I didn't fuck up with Irina's. So give me, give me one second. I gotta make sure that I didn't fuck up with Irina's. Sorry, I just want to make sure that I didn't miss out on how to get her. Spend the night... After defeating the sage in... S okay. So I have not yet fucked it up. Literally just slavery? Yeah. It's the same thing if someone goes... If someone goes from Twitch to YouTube for streaming? Yeah. Yeah, if you built up your, your community on Twitch, not everybody's going to go watch you on YouTube. And vice versa. The same works both ways. If you built up a community on YouTube, not everyone's going to come and watch Twitch because some people will be like, I don't like Twitch. Twitch is a bad platform. And some people might say, well, I don't want to watch streams on YouTube because streams on YouTube suck. I'm very sorry, but I'm forbidden to talk to passengers. Wow. <laughs> Nikki this and Nikki that. That's all I hear on this ship. What's the big deal anyway? Just a bunch of showy clothes and some even show where you're singing. The guy's not even ripped. No matter what you do, you lose a bit. Yeah. Because some people just don't want to, like, they're just like, ah, I'm going to tune out. Oh, Nikki, just looking at your poster makes my head spin. If I see you in person, I'll probably faint. If that should happen, please, Nikki, squeeze me in your arms. I wish Nikki's concert was starting sooner. It took me six months to save enough money for the event. Boy, I don't know how to stream on here years ago. Switched to YouTube streaming and relatively recently switched back. Yeah, it's tough. I had to sacrifice my daily coffee breaks, but it'll all be worth it when I see Nikki in person. Oh, hey, it's Mickey. Um, -da 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 -da. Young woman, ha! You're a strange threesome. I thought everyone was here to see Nikki. You don't look like typical fans, though. Are you fans? No. You don't have to say that just to please me. I'm Mickey, the lead dancer from Magical Dreamers. Nobody seems to understand the heart and soul of our performance. I want everyone to get goosebumps from the message we try to convey. We're not all about looks. I hope you understand that. Welcome back. She doesn't look like a mouse. A different spelling of Mickey. Like, A Mickey, you're so fine. Not M I C K E Y. Kitchen, do not enter. But what if I want to enter the kitchen? Pog. Okay, so we can't enter the kitchen. Even if there's a 99% chance that you'll lose, you gotta bet on that 1%. The lower the odds of winning, the greater the excitement when you win. That's what gambling is all about. Yes, stop! Oh man. Every time I'm up, I lose. Reed will do that to you. Come on, baby. Damn it, lost again. 
thump, thump, thump. You wanna play? Uh, play what? Okay, let me explain the rules of Compass Roulette. Okie dokie, you're gonna have a wonderful night. Amazing rest of the stream. Alright, Cory, thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a great night. Sleep well in sweet dreams, okay? Don't worry, it's real simple. Okay, I'm gonna spin the pointer, so you just stop it wherever you want by pressing A. Pointer stops at north, jackpot, you double your points. Again. The pointer stops on east, you win 50 points. Next. If the pointer stops on west, you lose 50 points. And finally, if the pointer stops on south, Everything you burn goes down. Now goes down. Thank you for falling, collateral damage. Col collateral damage. Thank you for falling. Welcome. All right. Do you want to? Do you understand the rules? Yes. We also have the sudden death rule here at the Vegas Casino, but I'll explain that for you when the time comes. Yeah, let's play once for 100 G. Start off with 100 points. Uh, continue. We gained 50 points. Let's continue. No, oh, we gained 50 points. Continue. Appreciate it. And also, you got your name right in one. Pleasure to meet you. Well, welcome. I'm glad to have you stop by. I hope you're enjoying the sound of my voice. Doubled your points. Continue. We're, we're greedy here. Curse. Dun, 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 dun. Uh oh, chat. We lost. Lost all your points. Too bad. Better luck next time. Okay. Rip. What's one more round? Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's been quite some time, Irenas. You've grown up. Fargo, you have not changed at all. You are still drowning in memories of the past. What would you know? I lost everything when I lost Zelbus. That is untrue. My sister left hope. A treasure that may one day bring humans and demi-humans together. You mean Nikki? Yes. And his sister, Marcy. That child died when Z with Zelbus when Lucia... You do not know anything, do you? Or you refuse to know. You only remember that of the past which is favorable for you. Lucia tried to save my sister Zelbus, but she was only able to save the baby, Marcy. Lucia felt responsible and has supported Marcy from a distance throughout her life. Look at you now. Where is the old you who had the passion and desire to build a new world with my sister? I told you, the old me is dead. Now what do you want? I don't need to be lectured by you. Understood. Let me get to the point. You have taken away the song of the demi-human. In other words, we would like you to free the sage. I see, but why? You know that song, too, don't you? Do not feign ignorance, Fargo. You should know better. When the song, Only when the song is sung by one with special power can the effect be brought into full play. My sister, Zelbus, is dead, and you have taken away the sage. Marble no longer has its true power without that song. Marble even now is a nesting ground for evil dream spirits. Interesting. But so what? I don't want outsiders in marble. That suits me just fine. I love this jacket, by the way. How much longer are you going to be stubborn? The marble you once knew is no longer there. You will only find a nightmare. Open your eyes to reality. I'm not releasing the sage, no matter what you say. Fine. I will not beseech you. I will not give up on the restoration of marble. I will continue to m strive to make my sister's dream come true. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I'm glad we uh, managed to get in there. You actually you have a nice voice. I was actually very surprised to see someone playing Chrono Cross all game. This is one of your favorite games from the PS1 era. Free the Sage? 
Thank you, first of all. My voice is apparently very soothing to people. Um, this game is a big thing from my childhood. Um, I played it when it first came out, when I was like 14, 13 or 14, it came out, and I absolutely fell in love with this game. Um, it's just, it's just so good. It has a big, it has a special place in my heart. Um, oh, Angie Dog. I know that a lot of people like compared it for a long time to Chrono Trigger, but yeah, I love this game. Hey, you're a new face. Relax and stay a while. The ship belongs to me, myself, and I. I want everyone to enjoy themselves, courtesy of me. Stay as long as you like. Is that is that all you got? Okay, that's all he's got. Okay, we'll have to come back. Okay, so. Let's save. Love the hell out of this game, and you enjoyed that I had numerous paths depending on your choices. Yeah. It was it was a good memory from from when I was younger. And so I when they made the remake, I was like, I have to play this at some point. Hundred gold per stay. Now I'm okay. We'll be here. So this is the inn. I love this game. Welcome! Please enjoy the Sneff Family Show. The Sneff Show? Oh, hey, it's Sneff. Oh, God, it's Sneff. Chat, look at Sneff. He's horrifying. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the to Sneff's fantastic magic show. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to volunteer for this next trick? How about you, young lady? Who me? Well, it does seem like fun, but you're not going to slice me in two or stick knives into me, are you? Nothing to worry about, young lady. You're in good hands with Sneff. Now, please step up on the stage. There's nothing. He's a sniff. Now, what is your name? Jill? Well, let's start off with something simple. Jill, you're going to walk on air. You're feeling very, feeling lighter, Jill. Very light. One, or two, three, free. I forgot he says free. Yeek! And now for the main event. You will now become a chair. You will be able to withstand any weight. One, two, three. See, no strings. She's able to, she's even able to support a fat soul like him. Okay, then. It's about time we brought Jill back. Yeah, in a world of magic? Exactly. No, they're elements, not magic. She became a Jill sandwich. She did get sat on. So, how was it, Jim? Um, I felt like I had no control over my body, but it didn't hurt one bit. It was very strange. Thank you for very much for your assistance. You're a phony. You and her probably had this all planned out. <gasps> you don't believe in magic? Looks like I have something to prove to you. Step up to the stage. I don't know why I'm giving him a weird accent. He just has the lisp. You hate how he speaks? Sure, go ahead and do what you want. I know there's a trick. You're a real live wire. What's your name? It's Jack. Oh, there's Jack and Jill. Well then, Jack, seeing as you seem so impatient to see some real magic, here's one of my favorites. I will turn you into a cat. I call it Catamorphosis. One. Two, three. Meow. So, what do you think? Don't be afraid. I'll change you back to normal. One, two, three. Do you believe me now, Jack? 
She says dot dot dot. Thank you very much for your assistance. I hope everyone enjoyed the show. That's about it for today. Until next time. Are they going up the hill to fetch some water? Maybe. How did he change that man into a cat? Unbelievable. Oh man, that was freaky. I still got goosebumps. Better watch out for that man. Mm, excuse me. Welcome, please enjoy the film. Nice. He's a wizard, Harry. Only stage reformers. Stage reformers only. Please, no autographs. It's called Polymorph, Jill. Excuse me, but I need to get to work. Please let me through. Uh, ask about the Marble Sage. We're looking for the Sage of Marble. Do you know anything? Hmm, I don't believe he's here. Try elsewhere. Now, please, I have to get to work. Hey, at least we get fed, you know? I don't think it's all that bad. Please don't make me work overtime today. I want to go home. Um... Do you know what's happening to Marble? Okay, chat, should I say it's beautiful or should I say it's painful? I'm gonna stand up while you decide. I'm gonna stand up and stretch my legs, because they hurt. Because they fucking hurt. And I had to pop my knee. Oh, my butt, my butt, my butt, chat, my butt. Oh, stretchy, stretchy. Mm. Mm. Ow, my spine. Wait, what is happening in Marvel? It's uh, overrun by ghosties and has been abandoned. You want a no strong point one way or the other? What's the truth? The truth is that it's fucked! Chat, it's fucked. Too painful to say, don't give false hope. Chat has spoken, huh? Why do you say that? What's going on? It's something the humans did, isn't it? I'm sorry, but I need to be alone. Okay. Then it's... Say it's painful, you should know the truth. I have to mop the floors, so let me through. Alright, go. Don't slack off. That old man used to be the leader of Marvel, but now he's down in the dumps, mopping the floors of the Zelvis. Through the stores, the glans Grand Slam, a world where the weak are victims of the strong. Power is justice. Just what the captain preaches. Anyway, I'll let you through if you give the captain's permission. Alright, well, now I gotta talk to the captain. What do you mean, Linen? What did you miss? Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Get in this clam. Pants grab. We'd like to go through to the Grand Slam. Oh, the Grand Slam, eh? So you're out for blood. Tell me, where did you folks come from? Marble? What? Marble? What are you doing here anyway? We're looking for the Sage of Marble. Well, well, well. I'm sorry, but there's no one of that sort aboard the Zelda's. Plus, I don't want strangers ruining my fun on my ship. Sorry, I can't grant you access. Fucking lights up a cigar. But that wouldn't be fun now, would it? Foundation of the Zelbus is entertainment. What do you say to try what do you say you try your luck? Try our luck? That's right. There's a casino down below. We'll have a little showdown there. If you win, I'll give you access to the Grand Slam. But if you lose, how about you give me your boat dock to the entrance? Yes. Good, that's the spirit. I'll meet you down at the casino. Don't chicken out now. <laughs> Fargo is a magnificent bastard. Alright, so now I have to figure out... I just clip through this real quick. See me clipping through that? Look at look at Haro clip through the, the thing. He's going to cheat, right? Absolutely. Yes, he cheats. He cheats like a motherfucker. But that's the thing. I can cheat too, chat. Just horrible things? Yes. Now, the question is, how do I cheat? Gotta remember how to cheat. Cheat the dirty cheater? Yes. Dun, 
cheat him out of this pan scrap. Yeah. So, do you want to know the? Do you want to know how he's going to cheat, Chad? Because I already know how he cheats. Uh, it's a magnet. It is a magnet. Ah, I see the ladder there. Okay. Okay, so that's what we need to do. Okay, so first things first, I think we have to lose to him first. I, I have played the game before, but yes. It's called a gun. Ah, uh, Sneff. No, not again. Give it up, old man Sneff. You don't have what it takes. Just keep doing your shows, that's all. <sighs> One of these days, I'm gonna slap you, your dirty face with a wad of cash and get the hell off of this ship. Well, 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 look who's here. That old man has built up quite a debt from this casino, so now I own him. I suggest you don't let the same happen to you. Excuse me, everyone, may I have your attention, please? I need to have a private game with these folks. Would you mind leaving us alone for a while? I'll clear any debts you may have. Are you serious, Cap? Did I stutter? All right. Let me just fucking dip. Yeah, we need to We need to go fuck with the magnet. The captain is G-O-O-D. Better watch it. Take it easy on him, Captain. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I'll be done soon. Okay. Let's begin. Usual, Captain? Yes, sudden death. The rules are simple. Press A after the dealer spins the compass. All alternate turns. Pointer will stop in north, east, south, or west. Should the pointer stop on south, where it stands now, you lose. Simple game, isn't it? Just don't make the pointer stop on south. It's a game of luck rather than skill. Okay, then I'll go first. <laughs> You're up. It doesn't matter. Wow, one every time we lose. <laughs> You've got a ways to go before you can beat me. Well then, looks like you owe me your boat. Don't hold a grudge, I won that game fair and square. I guess that means you'll have to swim back. <laughs> what a jerk. Alright, so now... We're gonna go and see if we can talk to Snaff. Time to light fire to the boat. Yes. Arson. That I did, didn't realize I had a customer. Please do excuse me. <laughs> uh, so what can I do for you? Hey, don't go up there. Meow. Right above the sin is... The Z Casino where we played Fargo. Something is fishy. If only we could walk around freely, like that cat. Yay, arson, Maltop. Hello, Vloss. How are you? All right, second show of the day for Sniff. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fantastic Magic Show. How about we start off with Catamorphosis today? Do you have a volunteer from the audience? You folks must be new around here. Would you like to volunteer? Sure. Excellent. Please step up to the stage. One more day before your day weekend? Nice. Me too, actually. I took Friday off this week. Are you ready? One. Two. Three. <gasps> Kiddies! No. Where do you think you're going? 
喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵
But remember this, Nikki. Man is not as strong as you think. Father, I... How did such a gruff dad grow up to have such a hottie for a son? I mean, what? Nikki might just be dumb. That's also true. Sup, nerd? Do you folks want to challenge me again? Yeah. Oh, really? You folks never learn. I'll meet you down there. <laughs> Excuse me. I love the song. I thought you might have chickened out. Now you go first, sir. Sir. Was a bad time for an ad break? Aw. Okay, then I'll go first. What? Impossible! Interesting little item you've got there. So I guess you found me out. I lose. <laughs> as promised, I'll give you access to the Grand Slam. Of course, you'll get your boat back as well. I just imagine... I just imagine that the thing landed, and he goes, What? Impossible? And Lynx just pulls out the handle and waggles it around a little bit. But how did you manage to get a hold of that handle? At least you got to hear Fargo lose. Yeah, fuck that guy. Okay, we need to do one thing first. Because I want to make sure... I want to make sure that we get Nikki. Or not Nikki, um, Sneff. Because Sneff is a player character. I just want to make sure that we recruit him. Okay, after we defeat the Sage. Okay. After we defeat the Sage. This is the only time you guys are going to hear me sing, by the way. Captain gave me the okay to let you through, but I'm warning you, you might not make it out alive. It's time for the Grand Slam. We're going to Denny's, chat. We're going to Denny's. You can get any Grand Slam you want, but only if it's less than $5. Because I can't afford to pay for all of you. I am not made of money. Yes, what is it? Why are you following me? As you can see, I'm quite busy. I don't have time for game tech. Where's the Dead Sea, old man? I don't know what how many features. What? All right, that was the challenge time to make him sing as much as possible. You can say she. Throwing down the god in the middle of a Denny's party lot at 3 a.m. to sign me up. I like Grand Slams. I want a French Toast Slam now. Maybe I can eat one tomorrow. We'll be fine. We're the protagonist. Yes. I'm not selling feet. The Dead Sea? Why do you wish to enter the Dead Sea? Do you realize humans have stolen our land along with our legendary treasure? Humans will do anything for profit, no matter what the cost. Demi-humans above the ship are living proof. We've lost all sense of pride, with no dreams for tomorrow. We just cling to the mercy of humans every day. I don't acknowledge that. Hmm. 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 Get out of my brain. There's only enough room for one cell. Why are you selling feed picks, honey? Because people spend money on it, and I like having money. Because if I have money, I can put more money into the, into the stream. I can get more commissions for you guys. Okay? Do you want more commissions of me? Do you want lewd commissions of me? Then pay me! Why must we demi-humans lend a hand to humans? What will you do if I refuse? Well, let's let's talk it over. Well, we won't use brute force. <laughs> so you wish to avoid conflict? You also need the courage to defeat others to get through life. Do not forget.
Thought you were leaving. Where's the Dead Sea? Alright, let's fight him. I see. Then prepare yourselves. More money, more feet. You do with a monthly sub. But, but why is Norris at one health? Oh, that's why everything was going super slow. Even though you're not the one paying for it. Hey, give subs help. He just fucking throat punched Norris and ended that fight. Okay, you know what? Actually, I want to see what happens if we die here. I want to see what happens if we die to this with with links. Also, I think this might be after this chunk we might end. My throat really hurts. All this talking. 1v1 him? I'm trying. He kicked my ass. Okay, okay I want to see what it says. Okay. Oh. Thus, the life force called Surge is not even allowed to do. Okay, so this is the same thing. You could say with Norris it was a clean. Why? Why do you hate me? Why do you make puns? Why do you hate me, chat? What did I ever do to you? Are we back? We're back. Okay, sorry about that. My USB drivers crashed. Yes to all puns, no! Puns are against the rules. No puns. Um, can we not heal here? You have to redeem to get the mommy. Hi, Nox. Um, can we not rest here anymore? Like, is this inn suddenly off limits to us? Well, that's not good. Well, shit. Uh... How's the lad? What lad? Could you be more specific? I'll have to be slightly more specific. Norris needs his vitamins? He did. Nox is the lad? Oh right, the lad. Nox, how is the lad today? You have cookies, I want cookies. I want cookies, chat. Can I have some cookies? They're ginger snaps. Okay, so we're just gonna fight him right off this time. I want ginger snaps. Oh, we didn't allocate Norris's elements this time. Okay, we'll protect our party. We have cookies after you make one pun. I don't have to make any puns. It's my channel. It's my channel and I can cry if I want to. <clears throat> I don't like puns, chat. Wait, what's an Ostrom? Oh, this guy's white innate? Interesting. There is actually a rule about puns, just so you know.
No, wait, I shouldn't have done that. Shit, I was so close to having three black. God damn it. You can't force someone to pun against their will. It needs to be, must be a choice. Yes. Wait, did he just turn me black? When I'm already black? There is a rule about puns. I will get upsetty. I will absolutely get upsetty. Get away with it, Sean. Don't immediately... How come you can do two spells at once? That's not fair. Very upsetty spaghetti? Unbelievably so. The chunks he does, yeah. You love puns, though? You can have a point redeem for them? I'm so sorry. My chair is doing this thing where, like, it, it's found, like, a groove in the floor and it's rolling back into that groove and it's pissing me off. Like, I just want to be in one really specific spot. Hi, Grom. If you like puns, you'll love Grom. Hello, Mr. Pun. Grom Faloon makes puns all of the time. just the kind of guy he is. How you doing today, Gronk? If you like your life, you will not make them here. Yes. Well, Norris is fucked. Why are you sorry you're offering my Twitch chat for people to get their puns out when they visit before they visit me? That's fair. That's fair. Go to Draco or Grom for puns, chat. Don't want to get on my bad side. It takes it. I like you can make a few puns before I get pissed off. Something about the Dead Sea. Could it be that you are carrying the burden of the fate of the human race? No. For all life forms? Then let me give you this. I am sure you'll be able to put it to good use. But just remember. Opening a new gate also brings forth a new misfortune. Do not forget. Links received. Fiddler Crab. There's an area near the Dead Sea where the tides are different. Use that item there. Nature will take over from there. Finally. I knew I'd find you here. You know the legendary song of Marble, right? I want you to teach me the song, please. Why do humans have to be so selfish? The song only has a place in the hearts of demi-humans. Why should I teach you the song? Irene has asked me. <laughs> I see that she has not given up. But it's on not only because she asked me to. I personally have a great interest in that song. A beautiful song, originating from a beautiful island. I might not 100% I'm not 100% sure I'll be able to pull it off. But if it means I can save someone through my song... There was once a man just like you. Liz, however... You'll miss all the pos... Safe to make you chew down to make puns, Liz, however. How goes Chrono Cross? We're doing pretty good. Making some progress. Who? Fargo. My father? Ah, so you are his son. I guess history does repeat itself. We're probably going to be ending here, like, after we finish this talky bit. I'm going to go save again, because my throat is really starting to hurt. Like, it's getting a little, like, lymph node thingy going on, and it's starting to hurt a lot. I did die a little bit inside. I had high hopes for that man. High hopes that he would one day tear down the wall between humans, demi-humans and humans. But look at us now. The walls seem even higher. Please, don't speak badly of my father. No one understands the pain and suffering he's going through. Even though he has built up this lively place, he screams in sorrow alone, within his deep, his dark, deep self. But I can hear him scream. His screams of despair, which no one else can hear, or wants to hear. So you can hear him too. I beg of you, please... But if my father hears that song, I'm sorry, but I have other areas of the ship I must mop. But while I hum myself a song, then you'll... 
I saw the way you fought back there. I've been looking for tough guys like you. It would be an honor if we could talk inside my ship. <clears throat> okay. Let's go back outside for a minute. 500 more honey bucks? Nice. Okay, so we're gonna go save before we go downstairs. Yo, let me out. Like unrisen sky. That's that's that. That's that. My throat hurts so much. <laughs>